Hey everyone, Big Mac here. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. So, in the last episode, we just uh, finished off checking out Boo's Mansion. We already got three stars from that place. We got the 100 coin star, the red coin star, and the very first one. So, in this episode, let's go ahead and work a little bit more on Big Boo. And I think from there, we'll actually start exploring some of the levels that are downstairs. So again, five stars or 15 minutes, whatever happens first. So the big booze merry-go-round. We never examined what was in this room last time. And in fact, there is an eyeball. But we don't really need to worry about it too much. And then, like I said, there were plenty of points around in this place for us to explore. This, this is admittedly, I think this is like the scariest room in the place. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but... The heck is that music? Yeah, Mario did die. So this is in fact the uh, blues merry-go-round. Oh, try and grab the coin at least, Mario, so you don't die. There we go. Uh, I forget how many there are in here, but there's a number of them. So we could have actually come down here as well for to try and collect coins and stuff, but it wasn't crucial. But fortunately, eh, well, or unfortunately, after we see all of these guys, we have to we, we get under attack by a big boo. <laughs> Alright, fortunately, this, this big boo was also no problem for us whatsoever. So, that being said, let's quickly grab our second star up here. Uh, which one's your left? There's the one up there, there's the one in there, and oh, there's the one that we can't get yet, so. I think that being said, the, the other two uh, stars that are in this castle, or at least the ones that we can get right now, they're actually not that bad, so I'll get one of them. I'll get one of them. Which one should I get? Uh, yeah, we might, we might as well just get number three, the secret of the haunted books. Uh, I mentioned earlier that there was like a library in one of these rooms that we didn't have to go into because there weren't any uh, red coins in there. But now, let's quickly go and check out that room. I believe it's this one? Yes, we have a library. And at least the booze are well, you know, articulated. Whoa, 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 whoa. So first the, we try to, first the literature is trying to attack us and we kill the literature. And now it's trying to kill us again. Oh my gosh. Um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, fine. Well, the good thing about that was there are only six possibilities, you know, the, in, in total, so... You know, I mean, it, w it wasn't, like, impossible for us to try and figure out all the different possibilities. Uh, we would have figured it out probably within four tries or something, so... Hard to say for sure, though. But we have a, another star, and just really quickly, you know, three minutes in, we've already got two stars, so we are well on our way out of here. So let's quickly go start, start checking out uh, some of the rooms downstairs. I think that is worthwhile. Well, there's there, again, there are plenty of rooms, or plenty of places downstairs for us to explore, as well as a lot of things for us to uncover. So, oh man, here's another star door. We need 30 stars to open this door, so this is in fact to gain access to the second battle with Bowser. But until then, let's go this way and see what we can find. Oh hey, it's Toad! What's up, Toad? Wow, you've already covered that many power stars? Way to go, Mario! I'll bet you have us out of here in no time! Be careful, though! Bowser and his band wrote up the book on bad! I think Bowser plays bass. Take my advice! When you need to recover from injury, collect coins! Yellow coins will reveal stuff, so do red and blue! To make blue coins appear, pound on stuff! Also, uh, down you'll minimize damage if you pound the ground! Thanks, Toad. <laughs> I'll also minimize damage if I do stop trying to sound like you. But anyway, oh, look at the little bunny! There's a little bunny, you gotta... Oh, that's a little bunny! Come back, Mr. Bunny! Oh! Whoa, did you guys see that? The, like, that back wall, like, kind of... Shimmy, shimmy. Oh my gosh! Hmm? Yeah, one hand me, brute! I'm late! So late! I must make haste! The shiny thing? Mine! It's mine! Finders, keepers, losers! Uh, late! 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 Ow! 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 Take it! Take it! A gift from Bowser was... Let me be! I have a date! I cannot be late for tea! <sighs> I wonder if the original 
original Japanese version also had allusions to or references to Alice in Wonderland. I don't know. But in fact, there was another uh, power star for us to collect. Just by, and in fact, you can actually pick up this poor little pony. Now he looks so sad. I mean, look at him. He looks so sad. Sad bunny. And in fact, there are a number of uh, new levels for us to explore here. We have uh, Lethal Lava Lethal Lava Maze? No, that's not what it's called. I don't know. There's also stuff behind this door. Uh, I think I have no idea where I want to go. Alright. Oh man, I almost glitched through the door. And in fact, that is a way for people to glitch through an episode. Or not to glitch through an episode. To glitch through one of the walls in the game. But in fact, what I'm going to do right now is... Hi, Toad! Hold on to your... Oh wait, I said I was going to make every Toad sound different. Hold on to your hat! If you lose it, you'll be injured easily! I'm the best! If you do lose your cab, you'll have to find it in the course where you lost it. Oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach. She's still trapped somewhere in the walls. Please, Mario, do you, you have to help her! Did you know that there are enemy worlds inside the walls? I've been jumping into them, like, already, Toad. This is not new to me. Yep, yeah, it's true! Bowser's troops are there, too! Oh, here, take this! I've been keeping it for you. Wow! For real, for real, these toes. Thank you. You know that would have been useful earlier. So in fact, all I had to do was grab one more uh, star in this whole episode. My goodness. But let's go into Hazy Maze Cave. I think I'm confusing it out with Lethal Lava Land. So in fact, there are a number of different uh, things that we could do. Which one do I want to do? I think I will actually do the one that I need to for the thing, if I remember where it is. I haven't, I haven't practiced this level in a while. Uh, I had said in a previous video that it's been a while since I've actually played Mario 64, and to an extent that is true, like, I haven't played it on a console in at least, you know, at least 10 years, but in my benefit, oh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, 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 I go the other way. That's right. I am a silly person. Yes, Mario, you are a silly person. You have to go the other way to get to the place that has the thing. So, let us quickly do that. Where are we? I think this is like like one of the least used rooms in the entire game. Just because it doesn't really connect to anything that we normally use. Okay. Ow! That's a way. That's a. That's a wake up call, Mario. Mario, you're gonna die. Okay, good. <laughs> so, I believe we actually have to go this way. This is. This is now. Now I think I know what I'm talking about. Maybe. As you guys saw, there was a star back that way too that we will eventually have to uh, pick up. So, and there's even one up there on top too. And I think that's the one I'm supposed to get. Yes, yeah, woman beast in the cavern. Oh, we're swimming now, and we're in a cavern. I don't see any kind of a beast, though. I think that's kind of, you know, apprehensive to call whatever's swimming around here a giant beast. It's not very nice. Hello, giant beastie. Oh, hello. Hey, it's Lapras. Hi, Lapras. Ah, I don't want to be underneath your Lapras. Lap, Lap, Lapras. Lapple, Lapple. Okay, anyway, so... Lapras, take me to the place with the helpful hardware folks. What? What am I talking about? Anyway, in fact, you can, uh, if you can get on top of Nessie's head, you can use her to navigate, her, it, to navigate around the different rooms in this, uh, particular, uh, cavern down here. So, in fact, we have a, can I make that jump? Yes, I can. Good. So, in fact, through these doors is the thing that I wanted to get in this particular episode. And this way, I feel like we're at least at a reasonable time sanction. You know, that way this episode's not completely short or completely long. Well, it's gonna be short either way. But there's this weird ooziness. So what is it? Whoa, Mario, you are shiny, shiny. So this is, in fact, the green switch course. So I think uh, in the beginning of Hazy Maze Cave and possibly in the Epson Wampus Fortress also, we saw some green switches that we haven't activated yet. But so in fact, the green block will become solid and we will turn into Metal Mario. And in a couple things happen. One, we become invincible for a short while. And two, since we're made of metal, we're going to sink pretty fast. So we can actually walk underwater. Now, a couple things, though, that you want to be careful about. Uh, notice that there is a current out here. 
Seinfeld, you do not want to uh, to come to the current. That is a no-no. Yeah, you see, right to Waterfall, even though uh, there is a one-up, and that'll actually take us back outside, where, uh, you know, we don't really want to be there quite yet. So maybe in the future we'll want to head back outside for a little bit, but at least for now, not quite yet. I, did I, like, punch you from the, from the bottom? That was kind of cool, actually. So, in fact, the last uh, coin that I was, or the last star that I was going to get for this episode is, in fact, uh, made right here of these red coins. So, very much like the red coins in the uh, red switch palace or red switch tower. So, we just switched on the metal cap switch so Mario makes it invisible and he can sink to the uh, bottom of the floor or of the, of the water. So we're gonna have to actually use that because I believe the rest of the red of the red coins are down below in the water. So I don't think I can get up from this angle. Oh, there's one you can see down there. So we have to quickly, you know, make our way around. And I believe we just have to find them all. Yep, there we go. And, oh, and they're oh, it's back there. Darn it. Alright, so let us quickly make our way back, and this is admittedly a pretty short episode, but uh, let me go ahead and just set up one more little thing before we do anything else. So, we, alright, we have collected a another secret star from the council. We're doing pretty well in that department, I gotta admit. So, let me go ahead and save now. Uh, that is the last star that I'll be collecting in this video. Let me do one little thing before we go ahead and start continuing in the next episode, though. Since I have a little bit of time. Uh, in fact, there are many doors over here. We still need a few more to get over to the next star room, and I'm not going to go there right away either. Just because, I mean, there's plenty of levels for us to explore. We still have Lethal Lava Land, Hazy Maze Cave we haven't really explored at all yet. And we also have the Shifting Sand Land. So we got plenty of time check out Dale's new levels as well. Ooh, what does this thing say? It is decreed that one shall pound the pillars. Okay. Pound! Pound! And for some reason that magically, like, uh, drown or drains all the water out here in Peach's moat. So in fact, uh, there's still, I mean, there's still a little bit out here, but we are back outside. And like I said earlier with the, that waterfall, and we had to be careful about that, you know, that if we fell in the waterfall, we would definitely... Let's see, can I... I, th I don't think there were two coins up here that I could grab. There's one. This is good, just useful... Yes, this is actually very good uh, practice for your, your jumps and stuff. Let's see, I'm a little off here, so I think I have just enough time to... Oh, man, it's still off. Aha! Uh -huh. So, in fact, you grab both of those... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there is a one up for us to grab. So notice that there's this hole down here. We have plenty of us, uh, plenty of things to explore. I think I saw that there was a waterfall. Where's the waterfall? If yeah, so you see that waterfall now. That's where we would have like come out of, I think, if we had, you know, fallen downstream in the green cap room. So until then, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode. I will see you guys in the next part. We did a couple of things today. We, we captured bunnies. We made bunnies very sad. Yay for sad bunnies? What? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we were actually and we actually made our way back out here to the beginning. So in, in the next part, we'll start examining some of the levels uh, down here, as well as possibly opening up that other uh, Switch Palace that we actually saw. That was, in fact, the Blue Switch Palace. So until then, I'm just going to stop running around. We've already closed at eight of the castle's secret stars. So this is, until then, this is Big Max saying, later.